What's up everybody? Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jessica. I'm a broadcaster and also a voiceover artist living in Ghana. So today I want to take you through how to count calories in Ghanaian food for weight loss. Now, I know that this is a really big deal. And uh, over the years, I've usually had people come to me and say, well, Jess, you know, I've been I haven't been eating so much, but I'm still not losing weight. I need help and that kind of thing. And I just smile to myself because straight away, usually it tells me that they're clueless about calories. But before I get into that conversation, I actually want to just uh, implore you to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to turn on the notification button as well, such that whenever I post a video, you get a notification and you can come back here to watch all the amazing contents that I'm trying to put together just for you. All right. So subscribe to my channel, like the video if, you know, of course, at the end of a video, you think it's anything beneficial to you. Plus, I would love your feedback. I would love your comments. Let me know what you think about the information I'm just about to share and whether you want me to, you know, um, create particular videos, maybe related to today's subject um, in the future as well. So now that um, I have that out of the way, let me also mention that I have different um, social media accounts. You can find me. I'm available everywhere. Well, almost everywhere on Facebook. Just search for Jessica Oparis Safar. It's a verified page. On Twitter, search for Jessica City FM, C I T I F M, um, obviously, because that's where I work. It's also a verified account. Um, on IG, search for Jessica O S G H, a verified account. And I'm even on TikTok, recently joined at Jessica O S. So now that you know where to find me on social media as well, we will go right into the conversation. So, how to count calories in Ghanaian food? For weight loss. Let's get into it. Why is it important to count calories? That's what a lot of people ask me. If you want to lose weight, you need to know exactly how much energy your body needs so that you can create a calorie deficit and your body will not be able to find the energy from the food you consume, but rather reach into your fat stores to um, sort of compensate for the energy it needs for regular body function. Okay. So unless you actually know how many calories you're consuming, you're going to always be fighting a losing battle. You will say that I don't eat much and yet I'm not losing weight. Um, when in actual fact, perhaps one simple, simple Ghanaian meal could be about 2000 calories that are sitting. So get this on average, women are supposed to consume nothing more than 2000 calories a day average, right? And for men, that's about at about 2,500 calories. Now, um, what typically happens and the reason why we tend to gain weight is usually we're eating or consuming more calories than our body needs. So what happens is when it gets all that extra energy, it stores it as fat in our bodies for a rainy day. Now, if you're not like one of those lucky people who um, can eat as much as they, they, they want and still not gain weight. And you're like me who just even smells chocolate and gains 10 pounds, then you're in a bit of a fix. You need to pay attention to these things because it can actually help you, um, in your weight loss efforts. So how do you create a calorie deficit? It's very simple. Um, essentially, if you know you're supposed to eat 2000 calories a day, you can reduce it to 1,800, but no less if you ask me than 1,500 calories a day. And there are a few technicalities that come with that, but just to keep the conversation on the surface, um, I think 1,500 calories a day is a manageable, um, weight loss goal or, uh, or calorie deficit goal. And for that matter, you know, if, um, you know, you embark on something like that and you're looking at say creating a deficit of 1,500. Um, I think you should be in a good place to lose about half a kilo every week or one pound every week, which is still something really good. Um, what you want to avoid is like to do, um, or to lose weight, like really fast that has its own repercussions. And I can do a separate video to sort of explain to you exactly how that works. But, um, essentially 1,500 
calorie deficit works. So what does it mean? It means that you shouldn't be eating more than 1,500 calories a day. Now, how do you know, consuming the foods that we do eat every day, how many calories are in your food? Let me show you. Let's take a look at this, all right? For instance, you go to the supermarket and they sell you this product. Okay. How do you know how many calories you're actually consuming? It's pretty straightforward. On this box, luckily enough, you have your 39 calories written there. And so you might be tempted to think that the entire um, pack here is 39 calories but in actual fact that would be untrue now if you look closer at this you would realize that right above it they've written 100 ml now what does this mean it means that for every 100 milliliters of this product that you drink you consume 39 calories so then how do you know how how many milliliters for instance make up this pack you need to look search the pack thoroughly Read the information if you can, hopefully it's in English. But if you turn it around to this point, you see one liter written there, which is effectively a thousand milliliters. So what does that mean? Let's come back to the front. Now, what it means is if you consume this entire bottle, which is a thousand ml, you would then be consuming 390 calories. So if you're lucky enough to get to a shop where this product is already there and on the shelf and it has the calories there, then you're pretty much done for. It's easy to calculate. Let's try another product that I know a lot of people enjoy all the time. And this product, we all know, Indomie. <laughs> um, how do we find out how many calories are in the Indomie that we consume? Now, straight away, you go to the back of the pack, look for the nutritional label, and this is what you should be looking for right here. Now, if you look at this label properly, you would realize that they have a serving size of 100 grams up here, and that is a serving per one pack, okay? Um, and then, how many calories per 100 grams? You always look at the energy component, which is right here. Okay, it says energy and right next to it, it has 450 calories. Now, the next thing you want to do, as we did with the other product, is try and find out um, what kind or how heavy this product actually is. And so you look around the pack to be sure, and then you find net weight written right there. 100 grams. So it means that for every 100 grams you consume, of Indomie, it's 450 calories according to the nutritional label right there. Okay. Now there are other things on the nutritional label that you can look out for, but because this video is just simply about calories, I will leave it right there. All right. So let's take a look at this very popular drink that we find in, you know, supermarkets and in stores that we let our children consume. Um, how do you read uh, or how do you know how many calories are in here per serving? Once again, we turn the can around to the nutritional information. If you scrutinize the label, you would realize that they have written 100 grams. They've also written a 20 gram option. I'm guessing that the 20 gram is typically your Milo sa in a sachet that we all pour into a cup, add water, milk, etc. So under each of these figures, you have your energy. Under energy, you have the value, which is 414 and 136 respectively. So what it means is if you're consuming 100 grams of this product, you're going to be drinking 414 calories. And if you're drinking just the sachet, then you're going to be drinking 136. Now, assuming we didn't even have the sachet to sort of figure out how just how much that is, what you want to do is to take the can. Once again, I said every single product comes with um, its own net weight. So look on this can right here, close to the boy. 
there's a 400 gram um, figure written there. So like you saw in the label, if we divide this can into four and consume one fourth of it, we'll be consuming 414 calories. And that's how we do the calculation. So it's just a little bit of math. If you're lucky enough, you know, the, the can comes with its own inscriptions, but if not, then you're going to have to read the label to sort of figure it out. Now, here's the interesting thing. If you look here and zoom in a little bit closer to that, you would realize that they already have pretty much told you how many calories per portion are in this drink. So here we go. Energy, 136 calories or 567 kilojoules. Now, on some of the products, you would find kilojoules instead of kilocalories. All you have to do is go to Google, ask them how many kilojoules make a calorie. Google can easily calculate it for you, assuming the actual figure isn't written there. Okay. So, I mean, essentially, it's a pretty straightforward process trying to figure out how to calculate calories in the products that we buy on our shelves and consume. But what happens when you don't have calories written on it at all? What do you do? Now, the next big question is, okay, so maybe you're not buying your foods from um, a shopping mall or a supermarket, okay? And so a lot of these foods that we buy, say, in the markets don't have any uh, calorie or nutritional labels on them that you can easily read. How then do you, for instance, calculate calories in fufu, calories in banku, uh, calories in ewakmele, et cetera, et cetera. And these are all like um, varied Ghanaian meals that we enjoy like almost every day. Um, this is how I go about that, okay? So let's take what they call brodier fufu, for example, or bordier fufu. Right, that's um, fufu that's made up of cassava and plantains. So this might be a little bit of work, but there are two options. First, you can go the easier route. If you're lucky, if you put in how many in Google, how many calories does um, fufu have? Chances are it will pop up, right? It will tell you that for every, say, 100 grams of fufu, it's about 380 calories. If you get that figure, you're great. Otherwise, you're going to have to pretty much do some estimations to still arrive at a figure. Now, if you Google, let's say, so the food is so complicated, it's a mixture of different ingredients. You can simply go online and Google the individual um, ingredients, do some calculations and um, figure out how many calories you're consuming. Typical example, you know, fufu is made out of plantain and cassava. Okay depending on the type of fufu you're eating, right? So you can Google how many calories are in cassava. Maybe it says 200 per 100 grams. And then it says, and then you can also Google how many calories are in plantain. Maybe they'll say 50 calories per 100 grams. Now, if you, you should find a way, you should get a food scale, okay? Get a food scale. And these are available in shopping malls and supermarkets around the country. Um, so once you get that food scale, put your cassava on it. Let's see how much it is. Maybe it'll be 500 grams. Your uh, plantain will be maybe another 500. Um, and then by the time the fufu is done, you're going to be sharing it with, say, one other person. So whatever the value is, you have to remember to halve it, assuming that you shared it at an equal, um, for, like it was an equal amount. OK. Um, and then what you can do alternatively is. Um, when you're done mixing the fufu and it's ready just about to be served, you can just put that amount of fufu on a scale. Now, the weight will actually tell you um, what to do. Like it, once you know the weight, so let's say your fufu is 100 grams heavy and you know that for every 100 grams of fufu, it's 50 calories. If you have 200 calories, uh, 200 grams, it's what? 100 calories. You get how this works. So you need to measure your food. That's very important. Um, and that's one easy way of um, sort of estimating. You may not get the exact value, but it leaves it, at least it gives you an idea of what to look out for or like how much food you can consume per sitting. A lot of our foods are oily. 
The reason why, if you're trying to lose weight, usually nutritionists will tell you, stay away from oil. See, like a tablespoon of oil, depending on the type of oil, could be as much as 120 calories. Just one tablespoon. So if, let's say, the plate of food you're eating, say jollof, has about five tablespoons of um, oil in it, you can imagine, just without even calculating the calories in your rice, the oil alone hits like a thousand. And then the rice on itself also has its own amount of calories. So if you realize it, it can get a bit complicated, maybe on your jollof, you want two pieces of meat that has its separate calories on your jollof. You want um, spaghetti that should be calculated separately on your jollof. You want boiled egg that should be calculated separately. So there's several elements that are coming together to create this meal that you think, oh, it's just a little bit. And yet it's calorie dense because it's filled with oil and um, there are other little elements that you're adding to it that all add up to the numbers. So um, these are things that you might want to watch out as well. Now, I hope that this video has been helpful. Um, if you'd like to, me to do like a follow up video or there's something else you really want to know about, just drop it in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to do that um, and take you through it. But the truth is, if you really want to lose weight, it's easy for you to do that. It's pretty much a simple math problem um, where you create a calorie deficit such that you can um, uh, uh, lose about one pound every week for X number of weeks, depending on how long you want to do this for. Okay. And that's how a lot of these people are able to develop plans for their clients. And you see them effectively dropping the pounds and you ask yourself, how do they do it? How can I do it too? So I'm hoping that I've shared some um, secrets with you today and the video sort of answers all your questions on how calories um, are calculated. Um, if you have any other questions, like I said, just let me know. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button if you like what you just watched. Um, but for now, for me, my name is Jessica. I'm definitely out.